Hello and welcome back to another video from our Healthy Trading Habit series. Today we're going to be talking about facing uncertainty. Before we start, please read the risk warning. Our investment products and services are not suitable for everyone. It is possible to lose all or part of your investment. For leveraged products trading, it is possible to lose more than your initial deposit. Trading on margin carries a higher level of risk and it is possible to be required to deposit additional funds. You should not invest money you cannot afford to lose. And with that said and done, as usual, my name is Justin Paolini, Head of Trader Development here at FCI Markets. The one thing you need to know about us here at FCI Markets is that we are trying to give you the tools to become consistent traders and help you simplify your trading habits because we are always on the lookout for passionate and capable traders to expand our trading desk here in the UK or remotely. So it is our objective to help you become successful and we are trying to give you all the tools uh, that you need in order to achieve this goal. Today we're going to talk about facing uncertainty because the financial markets are inherently uncertain but this fact plays games on a lot of people's minds. So we're going to understand why a lot of people get so emotional in their trading and what the solution is. This is the typical situation that retail traders face. They, they're always trying to understand what's going to happen next. And they really aren't at ease with not knowing. They really aren't at ease accepting the fact that there is no certainty in anything in the markets. Just like there are no certainties in life except for death and taxes. So we have to be at ease with uncertainty. And how can we do that? With being able to make decisions without fretting, without pressure, without fear, without worry. If you were able to obtain all the information available in the market, you probably wouldn't have any trading opportunities left because if all the available information is available to you, it's probably available to other people as well. And if it's available to somebody, the market will move. Somebody will act on that information and will move the market to absorb and to reflect that information. Remember that the markets are extremely efficient. The markets are populated by some of the smartest people in the world all trying to do the same thing, all trying to understand what the future will look like from a probabilistic point of view. So all the information available up until now is reflected into the current market price and that is why the current price is the best possible estimate of the future. All the information is reflected in the current market price. So when you step out of your circle of comfort to take a bet on some setup, on any kind of setup that you have in the market that you understand, that you like, you are actually trying to anticipate a change in the market sentiment. So something that wasn't known will then appear and will be known and the market will change to reflect that new information. So what I'm saying is you have to get used to operating without all the facts because they will never be available to you. That is why we are betting. That is why we are, from a certain perspective, gambling in the markets. And gamblers do not bet randomly they only bet when the odds are in their favor. So let's try and understand now why it's important to get the odds in our favor and what we and how we can do that. What we need to do is create a solid structure. The market is fairly random in the short term. It's a bit less random uh, the further up you go in the time frame scale. But we still need to create a structure that can allow us to be at peace and be at ease and make decisions within that randomness. That's why 
you see a lot of traders uh, add indicators to their charts or design indicators themselves or design trading systems because it's an attempt to give structure to the randomness of the markets. And there are some very decent trading systems even out there on the web uh, for free. You know, we also teach trading systems in our uh, professional trader academy. But there are many systems out there. The fact is that most people, even with a decent system at hand, fail to execute it correctly. Why? Because the focus is usually on the wrong thing. Usually the focus is all about where to enter instead of how to exit. They, people try to find certainty in their entries because everybody wants to win and so the focus is all on winning and so the focus all goes towards studying you know, great entries that will allow you to win. But in fact, the reality is that no entry will win all the time. It is impossible to win all the time so we have to be at ease with that fact. We are going to bet in the markets and lose. The second thing, the second issue, is that people don't have faith in their system. And usually this is because they don't do the hard work themselves to actually study backtest, realistically backtest, without using hindsight bias, and understand what the probabilities of their system really are. It takes hard work to do this. It takes some studying. You have to be like a scientist without trying to force the answer. You have to let the indications that you uncover bit by bit as you discover your system, as you investigate it, let the evidence guide you towards the results. Don't try to force anything. So number one, you know, focus on the right thing, on the exits. Okay, and the second thing, faith grows through confidence, but confidence only grows through competence, and competence needs to be demonstrated. Okay, your body, if your body is telling you that it's uneasy executing a system, it's probably right. It's probably because you yourself haven't proven to yourself that you can execute that system. End of story. So, what do we need to do about this? Well, here are some solid principles. The larger your wins, the compared to your losses, of course, the lower your win rate needs to be. So remember how we said just above that most people focus on the wrong thing. They focus on entries. That's because they they all want to try and win. Okay, but this plays a lot of games with your mind because we need to get away from the from the winning mentality. We need to get away from the, you know, win is good, loss is bad mentality. In the markets, you need to understand that it is your average profit to, to average loss ratio, which will save you. So strive to have big wins when you do win and small losses when you lose. Okay, the focus needs to shift from finding the perfect entry to instead finding the best trade management practices that will allow you to run your profits and cut your losses. That way when you do win, you win big. When you lose, you're cutting your loss. And hopefully you're not even taking in one hour losses. Okay, this is the first thing. This is exponentially positive math in your favor, if you can do it correctly. Okay, you need to have a risk reward, you know, an average profit to average loss of hopefully three. Okay, but at least two. And it's not hard to do if you put your mind to the task and instead of focusing too much on the entry, you focus and try to solve the issue of trade management. And we've done a webinar on that, so you can just go back to our YouTube channel and under the Trader Foundation series, go and look at our trade management webinar. That might give you some ideas. Now the other principle is that you need to avoid the issues that, you know, that stop everybody else from profiting in the market. So this is a chart that I show very, very often. Um, most traders, most of the time, are fighting trends. So if you, if you don't have a system and you're looking for a common sense system, some, something simple, some place to start, invert bad habits. 
attempt to design a system that will allow you to leg into trending markets because most traders fail to do that. Most traders fight trends. So if you can learn how to trade trends and you design a system around that and you focus more on the exits trying to get positive risk reward. Okay, so you do not have to worry about the entries and you do not have to worry about winning then you'll be in a better place than most people. Finally, adopt a checklist approach. Okay, there was an, a great book that was written time ago called The Checklist Manifesto and basically it was demonstrating how uh, surgeons with too much ego have you know, commit the most mistakes because surgeons with too much ego don't let their nurses rehearse the checklist before they make an operation. And unfortunately, there are all sorts of unnecessary deaths linked to that practice simply because they do not follow the checklist. They don't prepare. So the idea is to create a checklist for your system. Okay, the start with the big picture, intermarket connections. Then, you know, write down the rules of how to identify what to trade and why. Write down your rules for the entry conditions. Write down your rules for the position sizing. Write down your rules for trade management and execute these rules time after time because you will have studied, you will have, of course, spent the time to design the system, study it, practice it, gather statistics that show that it does work, that it has an edge, and all you have to do then is follow the checklist time after time. Okay, this is how you create a, a functional trading process. So there is no emotional thinking. There is no emotional decision making here. It is all just a, a function of the system you have designed. And it's a function of following that system. There is the, the uncertainty of the markets is completely secondary because you are taming that uncertainty with the structure you have created. And then you just have to execute your structure with confidence. First on a simulator, first on a demo, and as you gather your statistics, as you gather confidence, as you realize that it does work, or there's something to be changed and you tweak it and then it works, then you can come to the market with real money and you will not be emotional in your decision making because you already did the work. So it is very much a question of knowing what you need to do, creating a solid system, inverting bad habits, focusing on the exit, creating that checklist for your system and following it time after time and tweaking it, adjusting it as it needs adjusting when you find something that doesn't work. If you don't have a system, of course, then no problem. Just come over to FCI Markets and come to our Professional Trader Academy. I teach systems in that academy and it is an interactive environment with private webinars for the course attendees. And also, successful candidates have a funded account available to them at the end of the course. So that's one solution if you don't have a system yet. But if you're just starting out and you don't know what to do, then I would suggest using our free course, okay, the free FCI Trader Foundations course. It will give you great basics from which to start. There are, of course, the basics of the Forex markets described in here, how to adjust the Forex market, but also basic system development plans, basic trade management plans. It's all in there. So just use these resources and simplify your trading. The answers are there. All you have to do is a bit of work to investigate them and make them your own. And of course, if you have any questions, you know, I look forward to hearing from you. So all you have to do is write to us at client.support at fci-markets.co.uk or give us a call. And of course, if you do live in the UK, then you know, drop in, pay us a visit. We're always there to help you because we are on the lookout for successful traders. I hope this video was useful. 
and I look forward to seeing you in the next video from our Tra Healthy Trading Habits series.